Now the last thing we want to do in Pathfinder Office once we've differentially corrected our file is to export this to a shape file that we can bring into ArcGIS, do our editing, combine with other files, and so on. So I've pulled up the COR, the corrected file for the, the field mapping that I've done, verified that everything looks good, and I'm going to go to Utilities here, and I'm going to select Export. I've got a bunch of options here, different um, file formats that I could use. Uh, have a look down here. Uh, you may not, uh, may not always be going to ARC, uh, KML, uh, Shapefile, Grass, Adresi, uh, most GIS package, most CAD packages I can export to. So I'm going to select the Esri Shapefile setup. Um, notice that it has the, uh, the corrected file that I was working with. So just verify that it's chosen the right file by default. And then make sure that it's saving in the right folder, uh, in your project folder. It's going to put in the export, export by default. And then let's go down to Properties. And let's check everything about this shapefile that we're going to create. Um, what type of features? We're going to export all our features. Um, output. Uh, if we had more than one file, it could combine that into one shapefile. That may be appropriate if you've got... Um, more than one um, rover file that you used. For attributes, uh, we've got all the things that we added to our data dictionary, but there's some additional things that we can add here, and there's some important stuff here that we want to keep. Um, so later on we can look to see uh, information about the accuracy, when it was taken, and so forth. So for all features, I'm going to select a lot of this and look at your um, help file for exactly what I want you um, to use, but for the most part I want you to see this. So we're going to um, record most of this, uh, the dictionary name, and then for the point, line, and polygon features, we want to know our, our precision and our height. Um, and we can always delete this later um, if we need to. All right, so this is all the information we're going to export. Units, um, unit, current display units for meters, square meters, meters per second, keep everything in SI units. Any kind of position filtering, if I want to filter out poor points, uh, we're going to include everything for right now. The coordinate system, this, we want to pay attention to this. Uh, we may want to export um, this in a coordinate system that ARC is more comfortable with or that our data sets that we're going to match this with are, but I generally export in the native format, and that's Latitude Launcher or Geographic WGS84. So it's kind of the default uh, coordinate system for um, GPS files. I let R handle any switch. And then for the shape file, uh, we're not going to have a tracking theme. Okay, so I've made all these settings. I'm good. Now I'm going to say OK. No Esri projection file has been found. What this means is we're not going to have a PRJ file with our shape file. And we're going to have to define the coordinate system WGS84 for the shape file that gets created. So do you want to continue? Yes, we know how to handle that. All right, I'm going to open our catalog. Uh, I'm going to confirm that this is exported correctly. So it read through all the, the and the points and created uh, 15 point, five point features and 45 line features. Okay. Now in our catalog, let's see if I can quickly do this. Connect to my folder on the U drive. I can quickly do it. I don't know if the network can. All right, I'm going to run out of time on this video, so we'll, we'll import this into ARC, do the last step in the next video. All right, hold on, we're almost there.